Welcome back to the next guide on Combat Rogue in BFA. I'll be going through the talents and showing off the single target and AoE builds. So, for the talents in the first tier, you've got Swordmaster, which increases the Saber Slash's chance to give you an instant pistol shot. I take this just every single time because it's just way better. When you get the instant. When you get that instant pistol shot, you get so much more uh, combat points for your roll the bones and stuff like that. Um, quick draw is pretty good, but you just don't really get that many pistol shots. And ghostly strikes, it's not really any good because it only gives you a combo point, whereas swordmaster gives you that extra chance of even more combo points. Um, next set is I just take retractable hook every single time, being able to leap out of stuff. It's just way, way more efficient than increasing your speed by 15% and increasing the range of all combat abilities. If you're leveling, you probably want to hit and run just because the speed is, is just amazing. Next talent set, you just want to take bigger because extra energy, more energy, more damage basically. And yeah, deeper stratagems is just not really any good because I'm going to be using roll the bones a lot, which means you won't be getting DPS off on the target. Next one, it's really just down to you, but Iron Stomach's not really that viable, but Elusiveness and Cheat Death, you're just going to be want to be switching between them, depending on the fight. I always take Cheat Death, because it's just broken. Next talent build is just Prey on the Weak. It increases your DPS, whereas the other two are just kind of... Binding Power just lets you blind stuff quicker, so not really that efficient. Prey on the Weak just increases your DPS when you use stun things, which is just good. So for the next talent tree, this is where your DPS comes into effect, like... So slice and dice, it's kind of um, it's like the old school slice and dice where you just get so much energy and attack speed. But I use loaded dice because it gives you a guaranteed two matches on roll the bones, which makes roll the bones less RNG dependent and just makes makes it amazing. So when I start off my rotation, I enter with an ambush, then use adrenaline rush, and use off my two um, two saber slashes, and then with the five combo points get a roll of bones and hope for a good proc. Um, for the next one, it's, this is just where your AoE comes in. If you want to go for a single target build, elaborate planning is just the best. You're doing so much more damage. And cannon barrage or killing spree, depending on the AoE, and you know what you want. But I'll show the single target rotation now. Also, one thing they've added is Blade Flurry now is... Um, it's not like an, a usable ability, it's charges. So when you use it once, it's 10 seconds. So melee attacks striking nearby enemies. If there's not a nearby enemy and it's just single target, you don't want to be using Blade Flurry because it's using up energy you can use elsewhere. So just for the sake of it, I'm not going to use it. So I'm going to open up with the um, Ambush. And then you start off with Adrenaline Run. And now I've got an instant proc. So now that I've used Adrenaline, I get the um, I get my guaranteed two slots. So And now I'll just keep using my um, Saber Slash and Pistol Shot when it's on... Um, when it procs and then just using run through um, if it was an actual target you'd be using um, kidney as well so you can get the um, you can get your uh, prey on the weak procking and you can just use that so when you can see that your um, your your uh, roll the bones is about to expire you just pop another one up um, you want to be prioing getting the shark but uh, to be honest it's literally just it's literally just RNG, like it's really RNG again. You just need to hope that you get the shark, and then in between when um, adrenaline rushes off cooldown, you just bloody want to get in your run throughs going and just keep using them. Um, and maybe at the start of the fight, you just want to use ambush, a vanish, so you can do, redo another ambush, and just keep just smashing, smashing it down, and just keep using up your um, run through, so you can keep elaborate planning up, which increases your damage done. And yeah, just doing all that again. So now for I will show the AOE talents. There's not much you can change for AOE, like it's pretty much the same. So just leave combat, change my talents quickly. So yeah, it's either cannon barrage or killing spree. I think um, killing spree is really good if you if you've got if you've saved up your blade flurries, but Cannon Barrage comes off cooldown quicker, and it's it's just really good all around. It's really just dependent on what you want to use. 
But yeah, I like Cannon Barrage because it just hits loads of um, loads of people. Um, and yeah, that's really all you change for AoE. So if you show this on how to start, you would basically do the same rotation but incorporating Cannon Barrage in when you have um, Adrenaline Rush. So open up with the Ambush, use Adrenaline Rush, and then use my Roll the Bones. And then I'll use my um, Cannon Barrage to go down. And when it's AoE, you just want to keep your blade flurries up and just make sure you're using it every single time. Hitting the two targets, run through both of them. And just make sure you're hitting all the targets. And just use your blade flurry. Just make sure you're keeping up blade flurry as soon as it comes off cooldown, you're using it. And when you see your buffs are about to expire, use it again. Like, you don't want to be wasting too much on run through to try and get, like, the perfect six buff abilities. You just want to be using run through. Because that gets um, Adrenaline Rush off cooldown quicker. Make sure you use Cannon Barrage as soon as it's off cooldown. Like, you need to make sure you're using that as quick as possible. Use them run through so you can get your elaborate planning. And, yeah. That is basically it for Outlaw Rogue. There's not much has changed from Legion. It's still RNG dependent as hell. So, yeah, you just have to look out for that. And I shall see you in the next game.